Van is a community broadband project that aims to bring broadband to the outlying areas that no other commercial institution is bothered about doing because of the financial constraints. It was an idea that the community could provide their own broadband. If we got everybody involved, we could raise the funding out of the community and also there'd be sufficient technical knowledge in the community to be able to build and run the actual network. As it was before we started, most people had nothing in the way of broadband. Well, that can't be right in this day and age. Well, here we are arriving with the equipment in the trailer to actually blow the fibre into the duct, which we've laid previously. As you can see, we delivered the real trailer with the fibre on earlier in the day. This we will now proceed with the equipment in the trailer to blow in the duct which has been pre-installed. The Freelander itself now, having brought the trailer, is going to go into its secondary mode which is preparing to do a joint on this fibre cable and inside there is all the little fibres that go to the individual customers and we have to join those end to end by fusing them together. We actually saw the Princess Countryside Fund Land Rover bursary advertised and decided we would try and see if we could actually win one of these. I mean the vehicle has made such a fantastic difference to what we can do. Having a dedicated vehicle that we can go with any time we want has been fantastic. If we hadn't have had something like the Freelander to actually tow the trailers, so we couldn't have done some of it and it's because of its unique towing ability that it can do this and it's been an absolute godsend to us. I hope possibly the reason that we got the, the bursary was a simple fact that we weren't doing the thing for profit, it was for the whole community, it was from the community ranging from children right up to retired people and it, the project has actually brought a lot of the community together. I've got a small family and they like to use broadband. I run a business from home, so I need broadband. And one of the big deals is uploading. I mean, uploading at 0.4 megabits is absolutely ridiculous. It doesn't work. The promises of uploading at up to 1,000 megabits sounded great. So um, I got our village involved and uh, we got lots of volunteers from the community to dig. And eventually, uh, this summer, we got it in and we've now got about 26 houses in our village connected. Well, up to a year ago, we had a satellite link, which did provide us with the internet. However, it didn't really work very well and it could easily go down, so we could lose it for hours and hours at a time. Then we'd have to phone someone, then they'd have to bring a generator over to get the link back up. Whereas now, you know it's going to work. You can come in, you can do what you wanted to teach. They can go home, learn more about it, and it's just made it all so much easier. As you can see now we're feeding the fibre cable through into the duct, this machine is pushing it through. There we are, that's 2,150 metres put through. End of a successful day. <laughs> Once all this is up and running, people do appreciate what they've done for themselves and what can be achieved if we put our minds to it. People didn't think we could do it, but the community is doing it. It's with the help of the Princess Countryside Fund and Land Rover that we've been able to carry on with the project and reach more people a lot sooner than we would have normally. Yeah.